My friends, as your senator and fellow citizen, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on the outcome of this election, an outcome that bodes well for the future of freedom, democracy, and the pursuit of happiness. I feel bound to say that I consider it a great honor that you fine people have chosen my candidate, the man I was the first to propose as your worthy representative in the state legislature. And now, ladies and gentlemen, how about giving a big hand to... David Barry. Thank you. Thank you, folks. You don't agree with Senator Logan, right, Dean? No, I sure don't. You probably know what I feel anyway. You're ambitious, sir. You're cruel and unscrupulous. You're only in politics to make money. I hate people like you, David. For my money, we'd be better off without you. Maybe we'd better set this straight once and for all. Okay. Without them... Just the two of us. Forget it, David. 
The Senator will be waiting for you. Don't make him angry. He gets impatient. Wouldn't it be better to postpone this till after the party? Yeah. What do you think, Dean? Better keep out of this, boy, because you'll find it is hopeless. <coughs> 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 Excuse me, I was a little nervous. I can't take him any longer. If you don't learn to relax, your new job's gonna get you down. Six feet under. I suppose I am tired. I think I need a rest. Give up this kind of life. Think how nice it would be to have a wife, children, a fine ranch. Wait peacefully for the last judgment. No, Django. Oh, no. All that's not for me. <laughs> I'm too ambitious, it's true. It's like having something burning always inside your mind. To succeed, I'm ready for anything. <sighs> anything. Come along with me, Django. I need somebody like you. I swear in a few years we'll have so much money and so much influence we won't need anything else for the rest of our lives. Hmm. Aren't you coming to the party? No. I have to leave early tomorrow. Oh, really? The usual job? It's bigger than usual. All the gold from the bank at Empton. I'm taking it to the head office depository. Where? Near Atlanta. My wife is coming. <laughs> I'd like to come along too, Django, to meet new people and amuse myself. I once met a French dancer in Atlanta. <laughs> Quite something. <laughs> Darling. Awake already? Mm, is it late? Why, no. Don't be silly. The stars are still shining. The sun won't be out for a few hours yet. <laughs> We're coming to a lake. It's the only water for 20 miles around. While you're making yourself pretty, I'm going to water the horses, all right? Okay, darling. One under here and one there. All right now. One. Uh-huh. 
Come on, let's ride. Operator. Operator. Santa Fe? Yes. Yeah. That you, Effie? Fine, here. Yeah. No, 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 no. The hangman up your way? Yeah. Well, I'll leave him a message. The sheriff says he got to get over here right away. There's work for him to do. <laughs> he sure will. Remember me to all the gang. Walker! Walker! You shouldn't make noises when someone's phoning. It's rude. Hey, young fella. You must have been there when I was making that call. Why didn't you say something, huh? What's it all about? The sheriff wants you to do some neck stretching for him. Neck stretching? Neck stretching? And your neck. Ah. If you don't darn well shut up. Ah. Well, it's a Mexican farmer. And what did he do? Hmm? There must be something a little out of kilter with your thinking machine, fella. Well. <laughs> for five years now, half the gold from the local mines has been stolen. <laughs> on its way to the office in Santa Fe. For five years now, they've been investigating all over the place to find out where the gold's disappeared to and who's behind the robberies. For five years now, the same old story. Someone's stealing the gold and they haven't been able to stop it. So they grab the first chicken thief they find and throw him in jail. Convict him of stealing the gold and send for you to put a noose around his throat. You ought to be used to hanging these poor critters. You've got practice enough. Polly, want a drink? Polly, want a drink? Hmm. You've got plenty of water. Tell the sheriff to hold off this execution. I got two others to do in the next county. Hmm. If you say so. When's the next shipment leaving? Better leave off that corn liquor frame. Cider. Nothing but cider. Isn't that right? Awful. What's this stuff? You ought to watch out. You might poison yourself. Take my advice, young fella. Stick to alcohol. You're right, Horace. You're always, always No, no, you better right. not drink anymore. You got to work tomorrow, Django. I'll let you know when they send out the next shipment of gold. Okay? Hmm.
of an abbot. Got something to say before we hang you? I am innocent. Has that effect on everybody? Makes them real hungry. That takes care of you. Now you go 15 miles north to Mendes Ford. There's a deserted village. You'll find some friends. But my wife, my children. They'll wait for you. Then what's going to happen? Now you're asking too much. Yankee. That's what I got for hanging you. You may need money. Take it. They'll hang you again if you go back. This time, I'm afraid I won't have the pleasure. And if you run away, you'll be a phantom forever. If I were you, I'd go to that village at Mendes. Howdy, Sheriff. Well, it's about time you got here. I was on another job. Uh-huh. Go on. If I were you, I'd hurry up. He's more dead than alive. If you don't hang him fast, you'll lose your feet. What do you want? What are you doing here? I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. If you value your life, keep still. Take off your coat. Get up. What are you going to do? Now, get into this. It's got a, a hook. Come on. Tighten it. What if they see the hook? You can't see it. You'll have a hood on down to your shoulders. You pretend to be dead. This evening, I'll come and cut you down. Hey, Sheriff, we're ready. 
a bad idea if you go out screaming. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. You can't do these things. I don't want to die. I didn't do anything. Cheer up, son. No, no, you can't. You can't. You murder him. You can't hang him. He has it him alone. Leave him alone. You murderers, murderers. He's innocent. You gotta see you. Gotta see you. Tell them you're innocent. Gotta see you. Gotta see you. Help Why me. Somebody do something. Are you all cowards? Why don't you speak up? Why won't you tell the truth? You know he didn't do anything. He's innocent. He's innocent. Can't hang him. Let him go. You're nothing that matters. Let go. Leave him alone. He's innocent, I tell you. He's innocent. The hangman has to do his work in peace, Sheriff. He has to be left alone so he can get on with the job. This kind of ugly scene is bad for the town's reputation. Take her away. Garcia will show you. That's Garcia. I'll help you. Hey, Django, why didn't you bring us some whiskey? It would be nice to have a little drink. I need one. Do you? Well... Guess I can wait. I'm fed up with you. I've been here a month, at least. You still haven't told us why you're keeping everybody here in this place. Or why you saved us all anyway. I need you. I have to settle an account. <laughs> Lucas. Hmm? That's right. <laughs> Hombres! Come over here. El gringo has something very interesting to say. <laughs> Lucas is powerful. His men are all outlaws. Killers he's gotten out of jail. They've terrorized the whole country. They stop at nothing to get their way. Better watch out. Are you afraid? No. But... Uh, what do we get in exchange? Your life for now. Afterwards, if you manage to keep it, you can go home free and clear to blame. You thought up a plan? All the witnesses against you are to blame. They wanted you hanged. You've got to find them. 
one by one. And make them understand that the time for repentance has come. I was lying at home sick. And that coward Will Kirby said he saw me going out. And that's how they convicted me. He betrayed me. Just to get hold of my land. He'll pay. He'll pay for that trick. You can bet on it. Sure he will, Jonathan. Now calm down. Then what should we do? You're dead men. Just phantoms. Go to their houses. Let yourselves be seen. I think you'll have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. They'll be scared stiff, but no killing. Why not? You're all innocent, illegally condemned. Not murderers. I don't like it. What's the matter with killing someone? Pedro, Jose, vamos. Where are you going? Don't worry, Django. We won't spoil your little game. We know how to keep silent, of course. It's too late now. You should have thought about going sooner. I advise you to stay right here. Yeah, till when? I don't know. I already told you. We're getting out of here right now. Wait a minute. Thanks for saving my life. Tommy, you go around back and open the corral. Walcott. Walcott. Remember me? Why have you done this? Who are you? Abbott. Remember? Lucas paid you to send me to the gallows. Now I'm going to pay you. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Go see Lucas. And tell him Jonathan Abbott is back from the dead. What is it? Who's there? It's me, Wallace. Remember me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I come back to pay you. Oh. <laughs> hanging me. Have a lack it. Me. The man you hang. You dirty double crosser. <laughs> Dan? Wallace! You! <clears throat> so you thought you could get away with it? Sell out oh. your friends for a few oh. dollars! Oh! Remember me? I'm Jonathan. Oh! The ghost of Jonathan. Oh! Cartway! Bill Cartway! Come out, it's your friend Wallace! Come on out! <clears throat>
All right, who did this to you? He got beat up last night. Like the others. They were attacked and horsewhipped. After that, their houses were burned down. Who did it? Well, what's the matter? There was John Abbott. You're crazy. It couldn't have been Abbott. And it was Abbott, I swear to you. And he wasn't the only one. I've seen Pat Mahoney. And Andy. He saw Jake O'Connor. Right, Andy? Idiots. You pack of fools. A corpse is a corpse, see? Every one of them is buried five feet under. No, Lucas. I saw Jonathan Abbott with my own eyes. And he was no corpse, I tell you. Listen, boss, I got something to tell you. You can come around later and bring your families along with you. I have some special whiskey for you. A couple of shots of it. You'll stop imagining you're seeing dead men. What is it? Tomorrow morning, a lot of gold will leave the mines at Las Cruces. On the way to the bank at Santa Fe. And I found out more. It's pretty certain they're going to take the Sierra Road. If they don't have any trouble fording the river, I'm sure the day after tomorrow, they'll be as far as the Horn to pass and they'll be safe. It's the first time they've picked the Sierra, is that right? Yep. And I'm afraid it'll be the last. Don't put me to the trouble of having to call you. If everything goes the way they plan it, they'll want you in five days exactly. This time, the trial will be shorter than usual. We already know who's guilty. A fellow named Sam Cooper. Tried to shoot his wife for two time in him. They got him locked away outside of town. He's going to be tried as soon as the gold's stolen. Poor old Sam. <laughs> All he tried to do was defend his good name, and now they're going to hang him for an outlaw. Two-timed and double-crossed. So long, fellas. Bye, Horace. Bye, Horace. See you soon. Garcia, I got something real important to tell you. Yeah. Well? Forgot what it was. Uh. Garcia, I remember what it was now. Tomorrow they're going to hang your wife. Well, that's life. Why didn't you warn me? I figured you'd need a day off. Yes, sir, if you ask me, I don't think you're getting rest enough. You've been working too hard, Django. Why not let old Bill do the job? It's true, he doesn't have your light touch, but his price is cheaper than yours. That'll go great with the sheriff. Why'd you convict Mercedes? Barry told everybody she was your accomplice. And then? <laughs> she was tried, convicted, and sentenced. But now I've got to be moving along. Horace, don't call old Bill. I've decided to hang Mercedes. <laughs> A hanging's a hanging, no matter who does it, Django. Don't make no difference to the fella who strung up. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Tomorrow, a load of gold is leaving Las Cruces for Santa Fe. It'll be passing the Sierra day after tomorrow. I think it'll be ambushed at the Honda Pass. Oh, by. By the Lucas gang. So far, we've been playing cat and mouse with him. But now, the time has come to settle our accounts. With this? Not yet. We'll be there waiting for him in the Sierra. And we'll attack them when they try to grab the gold. Try not to kill them. We have to take them to the governor and make them confess everything. Aren't you coming with us? I'll meet you in the Sierra. 
Hey, what's the idea? You run out on us? Was for me, he did it. They're going to hang my wife tomorrow. He's gone to help her. Hmm. I'm sorry about you and your wife. But there's something more important to do. <laughs> People want your names cleared. Go on. We'll get them to confess, Lucas and those men. We'll go back to our homes and say, look, your men are back again. Return to you. What will they do? Then we go speak to the judge, tell him we don't belong to the gang of Lucas. Perhaps he believe us. Then again, he might not. See that? He'll just have to believe. It's a truth. Suppose he does. Then what? Afterwards, we'll all go home. To our houses. To misery. To go on plodding and plodding, breaking your backs to provide food. Till finally another Lucas tries to take your land away again. So what are you getting at? I've been thinking it over. There's a load of gold out there that might belong to us. Hey, are you gone loco? We ambushed them before they reached the Sierra. We'll go to meet them. Before Lucas. It'll be a surprise. You're all cowards. You should have stayed hung. It would have been better for all of you. I'm making tracks. Wallace, you can't leave now. You shouldn't have done that, you dirty, stinking Indian. Anyone else? Howdy, Sheriff. Eh? Ah, there you are. Hey, Jack. Hmm? Jack. Ah, it's you. Yeah. Well, this time you got a woman, young fella, so don't spend a lot of time looking at her or she'll try to get around you. Yep, that's women.
If you don't stop using them words, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap and water. Ain't you Pat O'Connor, the fellow that got hanged? Yes. You're looking a little peaked. Why, son, you've been wounded. Where's Django? Django? What do you want with Django? I'd say you need to see a doctor. I don't want to worry you, my boy. But you're in a pretty bad way. Call him. I mean it. It's serious. <laughs> I can see it's serious. That ain't no mosquito bite. A little whiskey might do you good. If it don't, pray. They say it helps sometimes. Pat O'Connor, the ghost of Pat O'Connor. Shut up, you fool, and help me get him out of here. <coughs> Come on. Come by here on their way through. How soon are we gonna attack them? Before they reach the pass. Vamos! Come the fellows now. I didn't expect to see them so early. <laughs> hey, they're shooting for real. The crazy fools. Why don't they stop shooting? But what if they really are bandits? Yeah! No! No! Let's go. We've got to move. Let's split this up. No. We have to get over the frontier. Okay. your grave. Now you can go. Find some hiding place. I hope in a few days you and your husband will be together again, alive and free. Adios, and thank you, Django. 
Right. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Howdy, Hangman. <laughs> That's enough. Where's the girl? <laughs> Smart idea you had, mister. Pretending to string everybody up like that. Gotta hand it to you. You know, I like people who can think. Because they usually... have enough sense not to get themselves killed. <laughs> Why not be sensible, Django, and play your cards right? You know, I might give you a job, maybe. Django, it was Garcia. He convinced the others to do what he said to get the gold first. Wallace and me refused to go along with him. He killed Wallace, but I got away. Sorry, I... You don't know anything. No. Oh. Bet you're in with Garcia. Buzzard. You two stay here and guard him. Send somebody to call me as soon as he comes to.
Evening, David. You're getting old, Lucas. It was an accident, unavoidable. I pay you to avoid them. All of them. You shouldn't talk to me like that, David. I've worked for you since you began. But sometimes there are accidents. For five years you had your nerves under control. Now you don't. Maybe you're tired. Maybe. I warned you that gold was important to me. You can't put the governor off with a lot of excuses and empty promises. And you know it. You haven't picked a very good time to be tired. Let me worry about that. I'll find where they hid it. I don't think they can bring it out of the country. There are federal troops guarding the border. They may try to get rid of it by selling the gold. In that case, the receiver is sure to contact me. What if they go into another state? We have a trump card. The man who caused the trouble. The one who organized everything. We'll let him out, and he'll lead us to the place where the gold's hidden. Who is he? The local hangman. Goes by the name of Django. Oh. What is it? Django, you idiot. You really are tired. You must have lost your memory. You got any dice? Yeah. Yes, Django. It's me. Are you surprised? Five years ago, I advised you to join up with me, remember? I promised you honor and wealth then, you remember? You wouldn't listen to me. You were wrong. You filthy murderer. The same old arrogance. The same stupid and naive Django. Five years... Five years, and you haven't changed a bit. I bet you're still dreaming about that cozy little farmhouse with a pretty girl to look after you. How did you put it? To wait happily for the judgment day. Wasn't that it? That's only one thing left. Hate. Yeah. And even hate has a price. If you help me recover the gold, one-fourth will be yours. My wife's life was worth a lot more. That was an accident. She was a woman. Why worry? There are plenty of others like her. <coughs> Leave him alone, Lucas. He's been beaten enough. He's stubborn. I know. But it's worth trying to break him. If he hasn't decided to cooperate in a couple of hours, I'd finish him off, but uh, with a pistol. After all, he was a friend.
<laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> Johnny, please, you're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're mm. so rough. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, darling. You're so big and strong. <laughs> he won't be needing these, and we can use them. Right behind you. Let's go. Wake up, Django. We're here. Go find some water. Django. Django, wake up. Django. He sure turned you into a mashed potato. Come on now. On your feet, boy. That's the spirit. Come on. That's it. That's it. You'll feel better after this. Where are Lucas and the others? It'll be a miracle if you escape, Django. So don't go looking for more trouble. Tell me where they are. In the saloon. I need some dynamite. I know my husband. Betrayed you. Why did he do it? I don't know. Where is Garcia? I don't know. Where he is? If it's true what they say, I'll force him to come to you and make it up somehow. Shh. So it's going. Alvarez! Alvarez! Clear everybody out. We got work to do. All right, everybody outside. got something cooking. Listen, go over to Ranch and have a look. Well, no. of listening to your excuses, Lucas. I can't use you and your gang in this territory if you don't get things right. You know, and one person will be made to account for the men's actions. And nobody will take any initiative without informing me. I don't want any more of your stupid bungling. and about a dozen rifles. The dynamite was bad enough. Where am I going to find a dozen rifles, dear boy? 
Besides, if you changed your mind to something, I thought you were going to blow him up. There's someone inside who's more interested in life. <laughs> we'll see if Django feels like talking now. Go on. Before they can discover I'm gone. I'll wait for you on the other side of the saloon. Hmm. Tell me something, Lucas. If we find out that all this was a trick to keep the gold away from where it was supposed to go, what would you do about it? Okay, that's enough, David. Watch what you're saying. It was I got you started, David. And without me, you'd be a non-entity. So I don't want any more of this talk after I've done so much for you. Wait here. The hangman won't talk. We'll have to work out some way to get that gold back. I had to rob the general store. I'll end up in jail. You see that ladder? Over at the side of the saloon. You climb up there. And when you hear firing from the other side, you start firing too. You won't hit anybody, but it doesn't matter. Just make a lot of noise. Won't hit anyone? Are you loony? Ask anyone here in town who it was who won second prize in the bow and arrow contest in last year's Sunday school picnic. It was third, not second. But see you stay under cover. Jango's escaped. He shot both the men that were on guard. Bill is checking the other end of town. You imbeciles. That must be him. Quick, get the men together. You men, get outside. Sam, George, come with me. Come on, let's go. Back inside. Cowards, you're all going out there together with me. You men get moving. I'll shoot anybody who doesn't get a move on. Lucas! 
Lucas, remember five years ago? A shipment of gold from the mines. A wagon, a man, a woman. She was my wife. You killed her. All right, come on out, Lucas. Come on out while there's still time. Outside. Help me out of here. Help me. Come out. Come out. Is that way, two miles the other side of the river. Maybe we're better off waiting until sunset, don't you think? It's all right. You can cross safely here. This ford never is patrolled. Yeah. Wait. I will not go with you. No, and why not? I want to get my family. I want also to cross this river. But not alone. Now, we all have wives and children, too. We'll just have to think about them later. I have made up my mind. What about the gold? What'll we do? I'll take my part. Yeah, you will. What is your part? Whatever I can get. How's that? Adios. All right, let's go. Single file.
Come in. Excuse me, sir, but there's a person here who wants to speak with you. I don't wish to be disturbed. Howdy, Chief. Where are your men? In Farmer's City. Send them up to the Sierra to Altus County. Right away. But Lucas is there. Was there. He made a mistake. Who was it? The local hangman calls himself Django. It's him you want? Yeah. But, um, alive. He's the only one who knows where a certain load of gold ended up. He's here. He has the cold weather. He's staying out of sight. Where? Are you going to kill him? No. Afterwards, what will become of us? I only want him to get back what he has stolen. Save my husband. You saved our lives before. I don't know why. I beg of you. Let Garcia come back home to live again as before. It doesn't depend on me. It's in my house. A cabin about a mile from here on the road to Altus. Will you come with me? No. You follow me. Wait a little. Django, ain't you?
Harry said to bring you back alive. Don't try anything. Pick it up by the barrel and give it to me. Make it fast. the bedding and vamos. You leaving, Garcia? Stop. Garcia! Don't kill him, Django. You promised. Is it all there? Forgive him. That says you kill Wallace. Wallace and many men. You know what made me do it, Django. All my life I've been poor and hungry. It's the same for my wife here. We couldn't keep on living like this. I'm not the judge or the sheriff. I only know you betrayed my trust. I owe my life to you, Django. And once I saved yours, the debt is paid. Take all the gold and leave us in peace. Come on. This time you'll have to do exactly what I tell you. Now be a good girl and be quiet in church. Up we go. What's wrong? I'll join you right away, all right? All right. Sir, excuse me for having dared to come to your house. I'm here about uh, something I know will interest you, sir. Which is? What's this about? I know who stole the gold of Las Cruces.
I'm alone, right? Where's your husband? Garcia! Garcia! Well, where's the gold? Can I be sure of what you promised me, sir? Here's $5,000 as promised. Lucas offered me much more money. I made the deal with your wife, not with Lucas. You can count it later. Now think about handing the gold over to me. It's hidden. In the cemetery at Altus. Whose grave are you digging there? Yours. I'm here for the gold. Is that so? Shall we discuss it? Let you have half of it. That's a good offer, Django. You'd better accept. My wife's life was worth a lot more. In the past, I've given you advice, Django, but you wouldn't listen. Now I've offered you one more proposition, but this is the last one. Why don't you just forget that old story forever and get on with things? You know I'd like to save your life. For five years, you've robbed and killed. Your debt to justice is pretty big. Now, I have advice for you. Pay up. I pay? Well, that's stupid. No. 
He didn't betray you. It was you and your obstinate idea that I'm stupid, like you. I offer you 50% of that gold. Huh? What do you say? That's a shame. I'm afraid this is the last advice I'll give you. The dead are in their graves, understand? And you are dead. You've been dead for five years. This is your grave, mister. Dig. I know 